Hi guys. Okay, so this video is basically going to I'm gonna just share with you guys some of the little things I've been loving. Like, you know, things you purchase, like, oh, it's a buck, or oh, I'm gonna try it, and then you like, oh my god, it's the best thing since sliced bread. Um, so I'm gonna show you what I've been using and just the little things that I kinda almost like, uh, and then wow. Alright, to start, as you guys basically all know, if you look at my review, um, I discovered the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse, and wow, if you want to know all about it and everything, I have a review on it, um, so check it out, I have a review on it, I'm not going to get into what it does and everything, but it's, it's great, these my skin matte, it's amazing, um, I, where I live, I don't know why, they have more of the Caucasian colors, like, I can never find my color, like, I found this at Ulta, 45 minutes from my house, the dark cocoa, the cocoa dark three, like, I didn't even know they made them in dark colors, so, and I happened to be at a Rite Aid, and picked one up, it was the last one, and it was like, it's a $2 off coupon, I bought a second one, because even though I'm, like, half, like, I have a decent amount, I know I'm going to need a second one, and, like, I'm not going 45 minutes just for this one, you know, I can find it here, so, yeah, in love with my mousse. Perfect. Also, um, blush. I got this blush in a haul. Uh, LA Colors Dual Blusher. The Pink Mauve. Like, I've been... It comes in... It has pink mauve and has cranberry. I haven't used the cranberry because I have a lot of cranberry blushes and, like, they're dark. And I thought because me being darker, I need a dark blush. So false. The lighter one. Oh, my God. Like, it looks so great on my skin, especially with my mousse. Like, it looks so just light and... and flushed i can't really explain it so i've been loving this and this was like a buck or two bucks so i'm definitely gonna get more light blushes i mean not necessarily this brand but go branch out to more lighter colors because i was scared so that's why i only paid like you know, i bought a cheaper one but now that i know oh, oh, oh. um as far as the blush goes putting it on with this brush i in a haul video i forgot the brand name but it's a dual ended brush i got it from five below and um this side, I love this brush. I guess it's called a blush brush or a bronzer. I don't know. You makeup professionals tell me what kind of brush this would be classified as. But I love it. The bristles are smooth. I love the way it goes on my face. It does my blush so well. It it just... Everything about this brush. I love it. The other end of it, this part, I try to do my foundation. Now, I like the way it... Following the girls on YouTube. <clears throat> my, oh, I'm sorry. My camera. Um, I like the way it feels on my face. Like, I like this. Because just, like, I don't know about as far as spreading the makeup. Like, I need to work on that to get the product all over. But the bristles, like, I love the way it feels. But, yeah, but it's more this part, the brush part, I'm in love with. So, I'm getting more brushes that look like that. All right. Also, I am in love. I'm loving my e.l.f. matte lip colors. Like, matte lips. I think it's so pretty. I, Wow. I made a, have a video also about my matte lip colors, so really to get into it and what they look like and the colors and stuff, I'm not going to get into that, but I have been loving these, I've been loving just the idea of matte lips, and the e.l.f. matte lip colors are really, really good, I've been using this red, like, wow, it's so great, you can top them with a gloss, but that takes away the point of having a matte, but sometimes when you top them with a gloss, they still look great, it's a great lip color in general, but I like a matte, um, yeah, okay, as far as, um, eyeliner, oh my god um i you know guys i'm i've told you i think i've mentioned it plenty of times that i'm not good with liquid eyeliner and but i like that like cat eyed look those dramatic things that you can get with liquid eyeliner um so i got i had it for a while i never used it the elf waterproof water waterproof eyeliner pen now i have it in black and i have it in coffee brown um Oh my gosh, I looked at this girl on YouTube who did her winged eyeliner with one of these. Not Maybe not this brand, but the felt tip. Wow, so much control. Like, I, when I learned the technique, this is the best thing for me. It's like a felt tip. Ugh. And if you guys have them, you know they're a pain in the ass to open. Like a felt tip. Um, yeah, marker. You can go fine. You can go thick with this. I'm in love with it. I've been doing my cat eye. I haven't even been wearing eyeshadow sometimes. Just wearing a cat, a wing liner. Like, so great. This works really well. Also, I've the L'Oreal Paris Linear Intense. I have this one, too, in brown. But this one's, like, I'm still working on this one because this one's a little bit more wet, if that makes sense. This is still classified as 
like liquid but this one's far more wet like it'll smudge like I had to wait for it to dry this one is like dries instantly for me so I'm still working on this because like mistakes and stuff but this is a great one too L'Oreal Linear Intense it works great as well and like I said I don't like pencil liners I always use the retractable ones but I bought a LA Colors um liner to use my for my waterline a pencil and I'm working on those again just trying to step it up guys but yeah, I've been loving those things. All right. Also, if you've seen in one of my hauls, um, if you've seen, this may have two parts to it because, like I said, I can't edit. In one of my haul videos, I bought some clean colors, nail, nail, um, nail liqueurs, nail polishes, um, and I got this one in sheer red, and it's like a basic. It's not a base coat. It's actually a color. And it, like, gives your nails that natural pinky tint. And, oh, my gosh, I've been using it. Like, I just did my filling on my nails. Some of my rhinestones are falling off. But I don't know if it's showing up on camera. But this pinky peach, I can't explain it. Pinky is the sheer red. And I just love the way it looks sometimes by itself. And I've been using it. This is a buck. And I've been using it. And, like, before I even paint my nails, I put this on just in case I want to do a half design or what. Like, it just looks so great. And I've worn it by itself. It just, it's just basic, but it's brilliant. I love it. I love it. Um, also, in the little things I have been loving, you guys know I purchased my EOS lip balms. I think in my first snug video, I showed you this one. Then, when I did the EOS lip balm review, I showed you... You can, oh, I have a review on the EOS lip balms. Watch it. I love them. I got the Summer Fruit, the uh, Sweet Mint, and the Lemon Drop. Because this Lemon Drop is the only one with SPF 15 in it. I told you. Read the review. I mean, look at my review. I'm not going to get into them. They're smooth. They're wonderful. Blah, blah, blah. Um, <laughs> since then... Oh! Oh, no. I'm lying. That one I showed you, this was not the sweet mint. This is the sweet mint. Since then, I bought the honeydew, honeysuckle, honeysuckle, honeydew, and the, oh God, is this, this tangerine? Some citrus, tangerine or, yeah, it's tangerine, but this one's also medicated. So the tangerine is the only one, the citrus ones, the tangerine is the only one medicated, and this one, the lemon drop is the only one with SPF 15 in it. Since then, like, I bought two more, and I think they have a purple one. And I'm going to get the purple one. So, my EOS lip balms, I am in love with them. Yes. They are always in my purse, always in my little basket next to me, whatever flavor I need or whatever. I, you know. So, yeah. So, um, there will be a part two to this because I'm going to show you some other things. But, thanks for watching and I'll see you in a minute. Bye.